I would like to thank all the panelists on behalf of the Foreign Ministry. I am a State Secretary at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and I would like to use this opportunity to give away the Blade Strategic Forum Distinguished Partner Award for 2020. Uh, you have touched upon the security, and security is actually the precondition for everything else, for development and prosperity. And uh, in this regard, it's my great honor to name the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OEC, as the Blade Strategic Forum Distinguished Partner 2020. Uh, with the Distinguished Partner Award, the Blade Strategic Forum wishes to honor prominent individuals or institutions for their support in bringing to the fore, to the Blade Strategic Forum, global and regional strategic priority issues. Uh, while there is no need to present the OEC, it was presented, you have you have proven today that you are very active now in this current crisis with, uh, with uh, Belarus. Uh, allow me just to say a few words before proceeding. Uh, as the world's largest regional security organization, the OEC has an impressive record in promoting peace and security and strengthening democracy, good governance, and respect for human rights. And at the same time, also provides the platform for dialogue. With its comprehensive view on security, encompassing three dimensions, the political, military, the economic and environmental, and the human, OEC remains uh, at so many aspects of our lives are widely linked to security, as I said before. Since its establishment uh, in 1975 in Helsinki, the OEC has been constantly transforming, adapting, but has remained true to its mandate. Nowadays, its role is even more important as the world has to deal with threat, threats uh, to cooperation and security, which are becoming increasingly multidimensional and transnational, with COVID-19 actually being one of them. Uh, so on behalf of the Blade Strategic Forum, let me express gratitude uh, to the OEC for actively upholding uh, mission of uh, Blade Strategic Forum, supporting our activities and sharing progressive ideas about advancing strategic dialogue under the auspices of the Blitz Strategic Forum. So the OEC has been a champion of the Blitz Strategic Forum since its earliest days by regularly participating in our events. In fact, actually, the Blitz Strategic Forum itself is a result of the decision taken during the chairmanship of the Organization of Security and Cooperation in Europe in 2005, as you have heard our foreign, former foreign minister this morning. Uh, at the beginning of the Blade Strategic Forum. So we really highly appreciate the organization's contribution and commitment to promoting, fostering, and sustaining effective strategic dialogue. So uh, now I'd like to invite the representative, Hua Ruova Surla Hetilas, to approach and to receive uh, the, the award. Thank you so much, so, so State Secretary Kaiser, Excellencies, and ladies and gentlemen, it's, um, it is an honor for me for, uh, to accept this uh, Distinguished Partner Award on behalf of the uh, OSCE. And, and indeed, uh, the OSCE's ties to the Blood Strategic Forum are long and deep, and, and uh, I think it's a wonderful thing that it is a, uh, one of the enduring legacies of, of the uh, Slovenian OSCE chairmanship in 2005. And, and over the um, years, overseas representatives, including several of our uh, also secretary generals, have joined uh, this, uh, these discussions here. And as I was preparing for this trip, I discovered that these opportunities for dialogue have always been greatly appreciated by uh, us in the OSCE as well. And so I do thank for the invitation to engage with uh, really a very uh, distinguished uh, group of participate, uh, participants this year. And I think that uh, just to kind of a little advertisement for the OSC indeed, that I think that against the uh, challenging security background in Europe today, I personally believe that the OSC is more needed than ever uh, to promote dialogue and closer cooperation. And, 
and, and it is really a, you know, it, it's uh, providing an inclusive platform for security dialogue where all our participating states have an equal voice as part of our core mission. And um, the thing is that from an OSCE perspective, therefore, initiatives such as the Pledge Strategic Forum are particularly valuable. Uh, because, I mean, on the global level, it's important to recall the power and the value of multilateral cooperation. It's benefited us all over the years. Um, the OSCE is an essential pillar of the international security of infrastructure in Europe. Um, the BLED uh, Dialogue Forum um, provides an essential sub-regional level for developing mutual understanding of the important regional and transnational issues and threats, as, as we know from today's discussions. And, and, and this strategic forum is really a rare and distinguished contribution to what should probably be a much wider effort to bring together decision makers in an effort to understand and resolve common issues of concern. So allow me to say that I've really been uh, very impressed on learning uh, in practice today about uh, the mission of, of uh, the um, here in Bled of fostering high level and expert discussions on global and regional security in all its dimensions. Uh, this year, it's very much about COVID-19. I mean, this is uh, in itself an achievement indeed that, that we are here in person. Uh, and I'm sure that in the years to come, uh, the Strategic Forum will continue to draw decision makers and, and policy experts to, to what is an absolutely lovely place uh, in, in uh, also in the physical parameters that we are in. So let me thank once again uh, for this honor, for the recognition offered to the OSCE. And I'm very happy that the OSCE also has partners such as uh, the forum and, uh, and uh, very happy to be here. So, so all the best and success also in the future for the forum. Thank you very much.